Oh, I'm Walt Musburg. Shut up. The blogosphere, along with the mainstream media, is falling over itself to get on its knees to offer its freshly moistened, poorly spelled lips to Google over their recent decision to stop censoring search results in China. And they're positively orgasmic at Google's threat to pull out of China entirely. People are calling it an act of humanity, the move of the decade. People are saying that Google is doing something noble and should be commended. Well, I say fuck you, Google, with your latter-day conscience and your mismatched socks down there. You ought to be ashamed of the fact that it took something like this to make you respond properly to China's demands. For those of you who aren't familiar with the story, I'll give you a bit of a background. Google's an international company, and as such, they want to expand into as many markets as possible. A few years ago, they tried to get into China, but the Chinese government said they wanted them to censor search results performed by their citizens because they're, you know, an oppressive communist regime and they don't want their populace to know how poorly they're being treated by their own governments. After a lot of hemming and hawing, and after Eric Schmidt, Larry Page, and Sergey Brin both completely ignored my advice on the matter, Google caved like a beret-wearing Frenchman and agreed to censor their search results in China. Can you believe that? Here I am, the kingmaker, an expert on foreign policy and international diplomacy, and they didn't even pay attention to what I had to say. See how much trouble I could have saved you, you bastards? Oh, but when I called Eric, this is when he was still on the board of Apple, before everybody realized he was betraying my close personal friend, Steve Jobs, and actively trying to sabotage Apple. He said, well now, Walt, partial access to Google is better than no access to Google. My response? What if a community of faith healers wanted you to censor their results so that nobody could find information on emergency medical assistance? Would you be game? What if they believed doctors were the agents of the devil and the only way they could be healed was through prayer? Also, what if you succeeded in your insane plan to make Apple fail? What then, you prick? That's what I thought. Is it surprising that a major corporation compromised its ideals to enter a new market and make new money? Hell no. In fact, it would have been more surprising if they hadn't caved. I mean, IBM sold computers to the Nazis and we still think they're cool. I even gave their ThinkPads great reviews until they sold them to Lenovo, because my wife had a torrid affair with Lenovo CEO Yang Wang King in CES in 2005. Oh, I hate that man with your luscious hair. I'll see you in hell, Yang Wang King. As far as the press release bullcrap about Google acting in the interests of the Chinese people go, it turns out to be bullcrap. Google was hacked by the Chinese government, and in response, they stopped giving in to those communistic assholes. Yes, Eric, you did the right thing, even though you totally ignored my valuable advice on it. But you did it too late, and for the wrong reasons, you sanctimonious assholes. You encouraged China for years by engaging in business with them, but now that they attacked you personally, you have ethics? Fuck you! You can all go to an efficiently coded hell. This goddamn situation makes me sick. Was the suffering of the people in China not enough to motivate your considerable organization? Wasn't my advice good enough? If you think do no evil somehow means support an oppressive regime in their efforts to oppress and kill their own people and ignore Walt Musburg, you better send some engineers to fix Google Translate. How many people died to increase your Asiatic market share? How many people died because you ignored valuable advice? You should use your dominance in search to find out who you should have listened to about all this junk years ago. Spoiler alert, you should have listened to me. Some of you may be wondering about all the other people in the country who support China by buying all their products. 
After all, you'd be hard-pressed to find any store in any mall in the nation that wasn't loaded to the gills with a bunch of cheap crap from the communist nirvana. And doesn't that make every single person in the country complicit? Doesn't that mean that we're all of us okay with this level of oppression because we're personally benefiting from it? Making any show of force to the country about as threatening as a proverbial paper tiger? Well, are you a major corporation run by Eric Schmidt? Did you betray Apple or ignore my advice? No? Then shut up! Eric, I'm going to offer you my advice one more time. And if you don't take it now, I'm going to fly to California and vomit on your eyebrows. Because it had rolled down onto his eyes and onto his face. And it did taste bad. Jesus, Katie, do I have to explain everything to you? Jesus, Katie, do I have to explain everything to you? Shut up. My advice to you, Eric, again, is to blockade China. You know what a blockade is, right? No? Well, look it up. I bet you have access to unfiltered results. Basically, you block someone's access to something they need in order to get them to do something you want. In this case, you could blockade them digitally. I mean, you're Google, for crap's sake. You could snap your nerdy fingers and have China disappear from the rest of the world at an instant. Like that. Like, like that. Anyway, it would be quick. And even if you don't have the ability to do it yourself, you have the ability to get everyone to go in sort of a, I don't know, maybe a coalition of the willing to shut China out of the world internet affairs. I mean, good Christ. It's not like you're Yahoo or Bing or AltaVista or something. You're a real search engine. Eric, if the internet were a planet, Google would be its most heavily armed nation. You could have used your considerable goddamn might to actually make things better, instead of talking trash about it after the fact, like some kind of online France. It's pathetic. All you self-serving bastards make me want to jump off a rock. You should check out my blog at mossbubba.com because it's great. And you should subscribe to my Twitter, which is at twitter.com slash mosspuppet because it's also great. Also, look for my show on iTunes. I hear if you rate it and leave a comment, I go up in the ratings. Oh, also, I think I look pretty fantastic in my new Trek suit, even if my stupid wife says it makes me look like a geriatric pimp. She doesn't know what she's talking about. I look awesome in this thing. Yeah. This has been Walt Musburg. Shut up.